So in this video, I'm demonstrating a four-digit Nixie Tube retro display module that I actually have um, designed. Um, and I'm hoping to make this available to anybody who wants to incorporate one of these in their projects. Basically, it's, it's four Nixie Tubes which are capable of displaying different numbers. And, um, and um, this is controlled by a variety of different sources, but um, typically I, I, I can just um, control it from a serial serial link and so the way I have this connected up is I just have it connected um, via a USB serial adapter to my laptop and um, if I type um, something on the, um, on a, a particular command sequence on the console I can send some serial data in this case I'm going to send one two three four and um, you can see now it's illuminated uh, one two three four on the display so so there are a lot of uh, Nixie Tube clock projects out there, but in this case, I actually wanted to make a, um, an actual Nixie Tube module which is um, readily programmable. So you can just send data to it and it can display whatever you want. So you can send it from the Arduino or from a computer or over USB or anything you want. So if you can, I can just pick some random numbers, display those. Uh, you can. You can just display single digits, or you can uh, you can <clears throat> display uh, digits where you know it's a couple of digits. Anything, any combination, basically, that you want. Not only that. Uh, so here we go. Here's some more. And then you can not only that, but you can also toggle the colon on and off by just sending some uh, some more commands. In this case, colon to turn the colon on and semicolon to turn it off. So you can flash the kill on in any way you want from uh, from software, uh, and um, not only that, you can actually change the background color. So if I want to control the background illumination, I can make it go like this. So here we go. Here's some pretty colors. You can um, there are there are 16 different levels for each one. Um, I can make them all red like this. There we go, and uh, you can just um, program the back background colors any any way you want. Here's another combination. Um, so send data to it from the Arduino, send it from Raspberry Pi or whatever you happen to have over simple over RS two three two running at nineteen thousand two hundred board, um, and then it can. Um, and then it can just display any any set of digits that you want um, in any any way that you want. Like this. And also, it, it's programmed also with the capability of um, acting as a, um, a voltmeter. So if you um, connect one of these um, inputs down here, if you actually connect one of these inputs to ground, then it will instead of actually displaying something that comes from the RS two three two, it will um, it will instead um, display the use the analog to converter, and it will display the number of millivolts that it's seeing on a particular analog, analog input. So you can actually just directly use it as a voltmeter. Um, and also, this circuit is actually it makes use of um, the um, um, at Mega 328, so it's really easy to modify and program it to be a clock or to be anything you want. Um, you know, it has these, uh, it has all the uh, um, spare inputs and outputs just taken to these edge connectors. Um, you, know, you can program it through the regular ISP here. It includes the 180 volt power supply um, source just built in. The whole thing is just running off. In this case, it's just running off 12 volts from some batteries. Um, so in general, it's pretty useful if you want a retro looking device. You can actually have also more digits because they stack side to side um, with the same digit spacing. So, um, you know, there's lots of different possibilities in mega projects with this with this with this board. So I'm about to make a large number of these, and um, um, if anybody's interested, like drop me a note. I'll uh, let you know as soon as they become available. Um, and um, you know, see what you can do with them. All right, thanks very much.